Welcome back to Questions from Quarantine. While we usually reserve our sanity and sanitation segment for the end of our show, given the extraordinarily difficult times that we are all facing right now, and I know a lot of stressors, particularly on parents um, with everything that's going on, we decided to dedicate an entire episode just to sanity and sanitation, mostly sanity. Um, so Juliet, we'll start with you. What are you doing to stay oh. sane? And so, be kind to yourself. I mean, some of it is the same. I mean, people remember in those first weeks, I just insisted everyone get a battle rhythm. My battle rhythm has changed, you know, based on the weather, for example. I'm outside more. Um, I'm more social outside. I'm now seeing girlfriends or, or Dave and I are meeting friends for drinks outside, bring our own glasses, all the stuff that you read about. So it definitely feels like, and, and you know, my work and exercise regimen is the same. I make sure I don't, you know, the problem with working at home is it's just there. So you like, oh, I'll wake up and check emails. And then all of a sudden it's 11 a.m. and you're feeding the kids. And then, so there's some things there that are the same, which is just, I have a battle rhythm, but it has changed. And that's just the nature. That's what makes me happy. Um, you know, there's lots of big question marks for me about the summer, which do lend some stress and my kids. Uh, but two things I've done, um, uh, is, you know, one is I have literally just taken days off or a day, I finally did it a day off from my family who I love and my husband who I love. Um, but I hate them. So, no, I'm kidding. But, you know, it's a lot for a working mother. And there's going to be, there's a lot of things already written about working mothers and, and, uh, and a coronavirus and just, you know, no matter how equal your marriage is and your relationship is, you know, like I, you know, I'm the legit, the, the logistics lead, right? So even if I'm not making dinner, everything that leads to making dinner, right? Or even if I'm not changing the paper towels, the paper towels getting into the hat, like, you know, you're just like, and, and that's my job. So it's like, you know, no one else is gonna dare do it. That's my job in real life. But um, so I, one is I just took a day away from everyone and it was so great and I'm happier in there. They, my, my husband called it mom camp. And I was like, it was totally mom camp. And it's like, I didn't work, but I also didn't do family. And that I think is key if you have, if you can do that. The second is just, you know, and I think Margaret's going to talk a little bit, it's just like sort of maybe also, you know, isolation has a tendency to make you cocoon. Margaret and I have jobs that sort of get us out in this space, but um, yeah, I'm a member of the Massachusetts Red Cross, so this is, I do this generally, but um, I did get blood uh, two weeks ago um, and they do it safely and they do it securely. We will have a need. And it just felt like, you know, an hour out of my day and it just felt like, okay, it's just, it's contributing in a way that, that is like physical rather than say mental, you know? Um, so those are some things. And Dr. Bordeaux, we know mental health is physical health. What are you doing to stay as sane as possible? Well, you know, this is a uh, really, really a tough, chaotic, very frightening time, uh, you know, for folks. I mean, folks are, you know, there's protests on the streets. Folks have lost their jobs. They're very concerned about where they're, uh, how they're going to get paid, how they're going to make a go of it. And we're not, you know, sure about schools. All these things are profoundly stressful. You know, I, I heard a really funny uh, statement uh, on the radio, and it was about how um, the Black Lives Matter protesters are often people who are, um, in this particular interview, it was about uh, gentrifiers showing up <laughs> um, to protest. Yeah. And one of the comments that was made, I thought was so insightful, was that people actually, because of the shutdown and the pandemic, have more time uh, to think yeah. about their, their neighborhood and their society. And, you know, I thought that was sort of an interesting comment. And it made me think about how much time and energy it takes to care for one another. You know, we see sort of political participation in general lower than we would like it in, at baseline. Some of it is just because people are working so hard. You know, it does take a lot of time to think about, huh, what is the society we want to live in, you know? And so I think one of the things that we may be able to do, and some of us may be able to do, is take this a little time and think about, you know, we live in a democracy. That means that we get to decide together how to govern ourselves. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. You know, take, if you can, take a little bit of time, think about uh, the policies, politics, your community, how you want to contribute to it. Uh, get involved, engage in discussions. I, I think that's very helpful. So, you know, I've, I've done a lot of that and um, it has made me feel less alone. Uh, mm -hmm. It's made me feel less uh, crazy. It's made things start to feel like there is some, uh, you know, something good to come out of, of this moment. Um, and so that, that's my advice, you know, if, if, if you can get involved. Excellent advice. Thank you so much. Well, as always, we are questions from quarantine. You can always hashtag questions from quarantine for your chance to have a question answered. Be well, be kind to yourself.